Hello, board members. My name is Shonda Holland, and I'm the Director of Diversity and Inclusion. And today I will share the Diversity, Equity, Inclusion, and Accessibility Board Report. The work of the Director of Diversity and Inclusion is grounded in strategic goal number two. Today I will provide an overview of the work accomplished in strategic goal area number two. The highlights include the efforts of the Diversity, Equity, Inclusion, and Accessibility Committee members and advocates, results from the equity walks, an update on the targeted mentoring groups, the MEPA, the Wauwatosa School District Parent University, and the DEIA related complaints that were logged during the 23-24 school year. As referenced in Strategic Objective 2.2, a DEIA committee was established in the fall of 2022 with the purpose of driving continuous improvement in DEIA and providing ongoing professional learning and equitable resources for students, families, and staff. This year, the committee was comprised of seven members. The focus for the 23-24 school year was to assist in the successful implementation of the equity framework. The committee aimed to raise awareness about equity core beliefs and facilitate their implementation, promote educator self-reflection, and encourage shifts in adult practices. The DEIA advocates were established as part of Strategic Objective 2.3. Throughout the year, the advocates accomplished the following. They provided monthly professional learning through a train the trainer model. The PL provided focused on cultural responsiveness and the district-wide implementation of the equity core beliefs to address mindsets and shift adult practices. The advocates also provided support by fulfilling advocacy requests from students, families, and educators to ensure their voices were heard and their needs were met. They shared best practices on culturally responsive strategies and ensured that teachers were able to understand how to implement the equity core beliefs with fidelity. This year, there was an intentional focus on creating a sense of belonging for all Wauwatosa School District students. Advocates organized events and activities and provided educational materials that highlighted the uniqueness of various cultural backgrounds. These resources were shared both within individual schools and across the district. On this slide, you will see an overview of the work that has taken place for the implementation of the equity framework. The equity framework was implemented through monthly professional learning sessions led by the DEIA advocates. Principals also participated in professional learning aimed at integrating the equity core beliefs with the instructional levers. Clear professional expectations were communicated to educators in these sessions. The equity core beliefs were highlighted consistently throughout the year to ensure a common understanding and buy-in. Additionally, two equity walks were conducted each semester focusing on specific equity core beliefs. Feedback was provided to principals for dissemination within their school communities. On this slide, you will see the data from the 23-24 equity walks. This school year marked the district-wide implementation of the equity core beliefs. Please note that the equity walks did not cover every equity core belief. The only numbers covered were 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 8, and 10. The data displayed in the graph is based on the implementation of these specific equity core beliefs observed during the walks. These walks were primarily conducted by the building principal and the director of diversity and inclusion. The data indicates that as a district, we are in the emerging phase for the implementation of almost every equity core belief. Principals have had the opportunity to review their data and share it with their school leadership teams. Moving forward, DIA advocates will also join the school leadership teams to support our efforts in advancing from the emerging, the emerging phase to proficiency. Our goal is to effectively implement the equity core beliefs and ensure equitable learning environments for all students. As we work to continue to increase a sense of belonging for all students, the district will continue its membership with targeted mentoring groups. The district continued its work with Be Inspired Works, which is a male mentoring program that utilized spoken word and various forms of art to help young men of color recognize their value, enhance their social and emotional learning skills, and to communicate effectively. 
My Sister's Keeper is an affinity group designed for young ladies to share common experiences and tap into their personal creative, creative energy. This program teaches students how to channel their emotions and embrace self-love through introspective writing, mindfulness, poetry, and open discussion. Agape Yoga Sri helps students explore themselves and learn meditation strategies and mindfulness techniques to cope with challenges. This year, we introduced two additional programs to further increase the sense of belonging for our black and brown students, True School and Strive 365. True School is a leadership program that encourages students to channel their creative energy despite the hardships they have faced. Strive 365 is designed to equip youth with a resilient mindset through trauma-informed programming in education, athletics, and other activities. The feedback from students, parents, and our educators regarding all of the targeted programming was overwhelmingly positive. These organizations provided students with opportunities for positive self-expression and increased sense of belonging, a safe place to share similar experiences, and facilitated growth socially, emotionally, and academically. This next slide on disproportionality remains the same from last year. In short, we need to address the disproportionate identification of black students for special education and disciplinary issues. The root cause of this issue has been identified as the lack of effective multi-level systems of support, including insufficient training for staff in classroom management, culturally responsive practices, and trauma-informed care. This gap has disproportionately affected black students. The primary improvement strategy involves using student assessment data, analyzing instructional practices, and making necessary adjustments to enhance student outcomes. This strategy aligns with our goal to address the lack of effective MLSS structures facilitated through student support teams, which are continuously refined and guided by the district. During the 23-24 school year, there were a total of 15 complaints related to DEIA. Each complaint was thoroughly investigated and resolved amicably. On this next slide, you'll find information regarding our two parent groups. The first one is the Wauwatosa School District Parent University. This is a district-led initiative that was established to build partnership with parents and guardians aiming to bridge the gap between home and school. This year, six sessions were held for parents. However, attendance was lower than anticipated. During this upcoming school year, we will intensify our efforts to better inform parents about the sessions and facilitate higher attendance. The Multi-Ethnic Parent Association, also known as the MEPA, was created to foster a greater sense of belonging for our diverse student population and their families. The MEPA organization met monthly to explore strategies for increasing parental involvement, enhancing cultural awareness, and supporting black and brown students. The overall goal of the MEPA for the 24-25 school year is to increase awareness of the organization and begin to address the changes that must be made in order to create a sense of belonging for all students. Lastly, I would like to thank you for your time. It has been a pleasure to serve as the Director of Diversity and Inclusion in the Wauwatosa School District and I am anxiously anticipating an amazing school year for the 24-25 year. Thank you.